Well, today we're going to do something which many of you might not want to watch, but I think it's kind of an interesting subject. It's looking at the body of an animal. We're doing a necropsy, and I just want to show you what the body of an animal looks like when it's opened up. So, if you're queasy or you don't feel good during this procedure, please sit down. The body's organized into the chest and the abdomen, and in the chest you have the heart and the lungs. The lungs are nice and pink because they have oxygen in them, and the heart is in a sac called the pericardium. The diaphragm separates the, the thorax and the abdomen. It keeps the heart and lungs in their special place, and it keeps the, all the intestinal, all the organs in the abdomen in their place. So we have the heart and lungs in the chest, and in the abdomen we have the liver, which processes food. We have the spleen, which filters out the blood. We have the intestines, which digest all the food. And we have the colon, where the poop stays till it's appropriate to get rid of it. And what's this organ? It's a little round ball. It's called the bladder. And that saves the pee up till we're ready to void it. So underneath the liver, always right next to the liver is the stomach and that's the organ that the food is stored in until it's ejected into the intestines and slowly moves through the intestines as the intestines get the food value out of, the, out of it. Now next to the intestine right here is the pancreas and the pancreas is the organ that squirts stuff into the intestine to digest the food. So as we go down we see that there's the intestines look like they're all jumbled up but it, actually they're contained in a very artful beautiful mesentery. The mesentery has vessels that go to the intestines and back from the intestines. Now, why do, why do you have a mesentery? Because, just imagine all these loops of bowel in there, and if they weren't all attached by these circular membranes, they'd all get tangled and twisted up. The post vena cava uh, collects blood from the body and returns it back to the heart. So I took the heart out of the sac, and there's two parts of the heart. There's the right heart and the left heart. And, and the right heart is very, very non-muscular. It's very thin. And the left heart is very muscular. It's a little thicker. And this goes into the pulmonary artery. That looks like the aorta, but that's the pulmonary artery because we know it's coming out of the right ventricle. And then here's the tricuspid valve that comes from the right atrium into the right ventricle. See the valve? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, tra the chest tube, the, the tracheal tube is going into the lungs and when you breathe the lungs will fill up. And what's interesting is how spongy they are and, and see how pink they're getting because the oxygen, there's still blood in the lungs and it's taking up that oxygen. So as you can see, the, there's several lobes to the lung. It's just a, it, the body's very beautiful actually. I know that looks, this looks gross. It's under that one. It, it looks gross, but, but that's kind of what, uh, that's what it looks like when you're breathing, except it's in a vacuum and your ribs are pulling the, the chest cavity apart and making air go into the lungs. It's not being hosed in or blown in like it is in this episode. So you can, in this instance, so you can see your lungs surround your heart in your chest. So if you feel your ribs, visualize what your heart and lungs look like. The lungs surround the heart and cup it. So they all have a, a place that they're, they're used to being and the heart's right in the center. So that's how it looks when you're, when you're alive and breathing. Here's Dr. Martinez wishing you to have happy lunch. <laughs>